Alright guys, welcome back to more of the Dark Brotherhood. We finished Vicente's quest and now we'll get the final confirmation. Well now, you are an ambitious one, aren't you? I'm afraid I have no more contracts for you. Our time working together has come to an end. Instead, you must report to Ochiva here in the Sanctuary. She will be providing all your contracts from now on and is waiting for you as we speak. Before you go, however, I intend to make good on an offer I made some time ago. As a vampire, I may pass my gift on to others as I see fit. You have served me well, and I choose now to extend that gift to you. Shall I use my dark powers and turn you into a vampire? Most excellent. Here is what you must do. Simply go to sleep here in the sanctuary at any time, and I will visit you as you slumber. I will wrap you in vampirism's dark embrace. You'll never even know I was there. But when you awaken, we will be of the same blood. Once infected with vampirism, you must wait three days and then sleep once more. Then the dark gift will truly take hold. Sleep now, and awake anew. Okay, that could be interpreted a few different ways, but still, we're going to assume the vampirism way. Yay! I'll probably turn into a vampire off-screen just because all you do is wait three days, then you go to sleep. That's all. That's all there is to it. There's no special effect or anything. So now we talk to Ochiva to get the rest of our um, sanctuary quest. To this sanctuary, my newest brother. Oh, you're such a nice guy, Tainabu. Ah, greetings. I have been waiting for you. As Vicente surely told you, your time working with him has come to an end. From now on, you will receive all assignments directly from me. In fact, your next contract is available now. In the Imperial City, there lives a high elf who must be removed from existence. Finding this person may prove challenging. Are you interested? I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Your target is a high elf named Phalian. He lives somewhere in the Imperial City and fancies long walks. Unfortunately, that's all we know. We don't know which district he calls home which establishments he frequents, or anything about his schedule. This contract will require a bit of detective work. I suggest you speak to your fellow brothers and sisters and see if they can offer any advice. Ah, yes, there is one more thing. The Imperial City is also home to an Imperial Legion captain named Adamus Philida. Do you know who that is? Quite then you know he has dedicated his life to eradicating the Dark Brotherhood and doesn't appreciate when we operate within the Imperial City. When that happens, he tends to make our lives uncomfortable. Let's not give the good captain any reason to go poking around in our affairs, hmm? If possible, do away with Faley in some place out of the way, definitely indoors with no other people around, a secure location with no witnesses. This will make it look like a simple murder. Philida will be none the wiser, and you'll receive a nice bonus. Now go, and may Sithis go with you. Alright, so basically our bonus is to kill this guy in a place where there are no witnesses. So basically, one of his little hideouts. Because that way Adamus Philida, who is kind of like, um... Like, you know how Hieronymus Lex was with the Thieves Guild? Adamus filled us the same way with the Dark Brotherhood. Dedicated to wiping them out. And he's also the High Commander of the Imperial Legion. He's a really old guy, you see him wandering around, but he's a very tough fighter. Don't fight him. And he's essential, so... He can't be killed. Yet. This will be, what, part... 54? of my Oblivion walkthrough. Wow. Can you believe it? I was looking at my account this morning. I just realized this will be like my 99th video, I think, or my 98th video, something like that. That's a lot of videos. It's a lot of videos. Mm 
Man, I'm not expecting much activity today because it's Sunday. Sundays are always slow. My name is Carwin. Remember. Thalian, you say? Why, yes, I know who he is. Rather distasteful fellow, actually. I believe he lives at the Tiber Septum Hotel. That's in the Talos Plaza district here in the Imperial City. I'd ask around there if I were you. Shadow hide you. She's a Thieves Guild member. And she was kind enough to talk to us. I was actually looking for a beggar, but hey. Advantage to joining a guild. They've got members in every city. You can talk to them. They're just as good as the beggars for information. So, I, th I think, yeah, he's... He's not actually in the Tiber Septum Motel, but hey, there's a good-looking guy. <laughs> anyway, he's in the—he's not actually in the Tiber Septum Motel, but his girlfriend is. We talk to her; she'll tell us where he is, because we're acting like we're planning an intervention. Welcome, friend, to the Tiber Septum Hotel. Yes, I know who Phalian is. Know quite a bit about him, actually, but. Probably shouldn't gossip, I mean, we hardly know each other. Make every little bit helps. Phalian? Oh, I know him all right. A waste of life, that one. He lives here, you know, with his sweetheart, a trainer. What that poor girl sees in him, I'll never know. A trainer pays for their room, their food, everything. She's quite wealthy, I believe. Phalian used to have money. Used to be quite a gentleman, too. But that was before he took a fancy to the, you know, the skooma. Now, Phalian's hardly ever here. He's off using skooma or wandering the city looking for some, I imagine. He comes back every night to be with a trainer. But only for a few hours, I swear. That high elf is going to wind up dead if he keeps living like this. Good day. I don't have to pay you so much money. God. So, where's his lovely little friend? Whom I can speak to. Let's discover the location so I can put a knife in his back. Oh, she's sleeping. How cute. Get up. Where's your friend? And what might you want, peasant? Peasant? Oh, just get away from me. My relationship with Phalian is none of your business. What? That will get you something. Please, I... I don't mean to get emotional, but... I feel I can trust you. I just don't know what to do about Phalian. All he thinks about, all he cares about is Skooma. He was a fine young man once, but he's lost everything. His looks, his money, his self-respect. I followed him a few times to see where he goes. He walks around the city looking for Skooma. And then he goes to Lorkmere's house for several hours. It's in the Elfin Gardens district. I think the house is deserted. That's why he goes there. So he can escape from life and do his skooma. Thank you for listening. You're a good friend. I just hope my sweet Phalian can clean himself up, or that awful skooma will be the death of him. Good day. Oh, see, she's not such a bad person, and she was kind enough to confide in us. She trusted us. She opened up. She told us of her problems so that we could find a way to help her and her friend overcome the skooma addiction. Uh. That's for calling me peasant. Now give me back my money. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go kill your boyfriend. Clean up in room one, lady. Alright, basically we know where he is now, so now we can go there, wait for him, and then we can... Kill him, obviously. Duh. Thinking, okay, what do we do after he gets here? Oh yeah, we kill him! <laughs> Dark Brotherhood. He's kind of like uh, one of Shea Gorath's guys, except not as cool, because he's not insane, he's just high. So we go into the house and we wait for him. Man, the door's on the other side of the alley, isn't it? Yep, of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> the door's on the street. 
Oh, goody, picking locks. Yay. Gotta love it. Get up. There we go. Come okay, on. There we go. Good. One more. One more tumbler. Just. Yes. Oh, about time. Right. So now. Hmm. Okay, he's not here. Well, he's supposed to be here. Now I have to wait. So we'll sit here very calmly and pleasantly, and we're going to wait for him to show up. Because we can do stuff like that. Alright, Phalian. What? Okay, he's still not here. A few more hours. He should be here. No. Seriously? Okay, you'll show up eventually. There you are, you little thing. Hey, well, are you prepared to die? Hey, hey, how, what are, uh, what are you doing here? Sleep? Uh, but nah, no, I, I. I Good night, Phelan. <laughs> Oh god, I missed. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> wow. Oh god, I missed. I can't believe I just missed him. Oh well. He's dead. He's inside. And nobody will suspect it was the Dark Brotherhood. So now we go back to... Shaden Hall. Not Coral, Chitin Hall. Chitin Hall or Coral are two different cities. Then get our reward, our bonus. I think our bonus is a um I think it's a bow. Yeah, it's um Shadow Hunt. It's the bow, Shadow Hunt. Which is pretty useful actually. I haven't used Marksman yet, have I? No. I only used it to um for the arrow of extrication. <laughs> I mean, I chose marksman as a skill, but I haven't done anything with it, which is a shame. But because I figured, you know, stealth assassin, I figured it would be a few ranged kills here and there. But I never end up using them. Ochiva. The high elf Thalian now swims in the maelstrom of darkness at the feet of our dread father Sithis, and there were no witnesses to your handiwork. Because of the discretion you exercised, Captain Philida will not suspect the Dark Brotherhood was involved and will not meddle in our affairs. Here is your reward and bonus. Both have been well earned. Go now and rest, and may the Night Mother guard your dreams. I have another contract when you're ready, one that will rely on your ability to remain fully undetected. Far to the west, there lives a fierce warlord and his company of loyal mercenaries. Your target is the warlord. Do you accept this contract? Excellent. Now listen closely. Nestled in the mountains to the west lies Fort Soch. It is the home of the warlord Roderick and his mercenaries. Roderick has recently taken ill. He now lies in eternal slumber kept alive only by the daily administration of a powerful medicine. You must infiltrate Fort Such, find Roderick's medicine, and replace it with a poisoned bottle I will provide, but you must remain undetected. Whomever arranged this contract wants it to look like Roderick died from his illness, so discretion is essential. Attack no one, be seen by no one. If you are detected, the poisoning will fail, and Roderick must be killed in some other manner. That will, of course, forfeit your bonus. Yeah, this next quest is really tricky. I just figured I'd get it, because I have some time left to kill. And, um... Yeah, that, I think that's about all I have time for this video. I'll, um... Start going there. Probably go there off-screen, and then... Once I'm there, I'll start recording again, and I will see you next time. I missed him. <laughs>